scriptures about sin, judgment, and salvation. Scriptures about what sinful people are like. Man is born to trouble, like sparks fly. Our hearts are deceitful and desperately wicked. We cannot understand how wicked we are, unless God tells us by his Holy Spirit. Fools mock at sin. No one turns back from his wickedness. All of them are like Sodom to me, and her inhabitants like Gemara. In the last days there will be mockers, and scoffers, who will laugh at the truth and do every evil thing they desire. Some people choose to act like animals, made to be caught and destroyed. They speak evil of the things they do not understand, and will utterly perish in their own corruption. They have eyes full of adultery and cannot cease from sin. They are cursed. They have forsaken the right way and gone astray. Their future will be the blackness of darkness forever. God gave them up to uncleanness, in the lusts of their hearts, to dishonor their bodies sexually, among themselves. God gave them over to a debased, mentally ill mind, to do those things which are not good for them to do. Jesus said, This is a wicked and perverse generation. Woe to those who call evil good, and good evil. In the last days there will be very difficult times. For people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, abusive towards God, disobedient to their parents. They will be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. They will act as if they are religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. You must stay away from evil, religious people, like that. The wicked in his pride does not seek God, all he thinks about is himself, God is not in any of his thoughts. They could not believe, because God blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts. Lest they should see with their eyes, and understand with their hearts and turn, and be healed by him. The wicked say, Let us eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. The wicked, do not consider, the future consequences of their sins. Do not choose to love anything more than me, says the Lord. Jesus said, The world will hate you, like it hated me. Cursed by God is the person who seeks to trust just in themselves and not in God. Marriage is honorable among all, and the marriage bed is undefiled, but sex outside the marriage bed, God will judge. Physical beauty soon gets boring to look at. The eye is not satisfied with what it sees. They lust, but are not satisfied. They cannot satisfy their souls with physical things. Be doers of the word, not hearers only, don't deceive yourselves. Scriptures about God's punishment for sinners. The Lord is a God of justice. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body, according to what he has done, whether good or bad. The Holy Spirit will tell people the truth about their sins, and God's judgment coming for doing them, if they are wanting to listen to him do this for them, for their good. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. God's law was given, so that all people could see how sinful they were. Sin will destroy you. Unrepentant sin can give Satan an opportunity to destroy us. When the prodigal son ended up starving in a pig pen, because of his sins, then he came to his senses. I do not write these things to shame you, but as my beloved children I warn you. God is not willing that any should perish, 
but that all should come to repentance. He patiently delays his punishment for sinners, to try to give them time to repent of their sins. Jesus said, Unless you repent, unless you change, you will all likewise perish. I will punish the world for their evil, says the Lord. I will bring disaster on them, the year of their punishment, says the Lord. Jesus said, The end times will be like the days of Noah. For when they say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as labor pains upon a pregnant woman. And they shall not escape. God cursed Adam for his sin, with difficulty on earth, and eventual physical death. Jesus said, only a few people are choosing go to God's heaven, most people are choosing to go to his hell, instead. The way that leads to heaven is hard, and the way that leads to hell is easy. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. The devil and his followers will be tormented day and night forever, and ever, in the lake of fire. The wicked are brought down by their own wickedness. If you choose to sin against your God then he will hand you over to your enemies to be destroyed by them. If you disobey me, I will set my face against you, and you shall be defeated by your enemies. Those who hate you shall reign over you. After you get delivered of demons, you can get demons seven times worse if you choose to return to your sinning again. Jesus said to the man who had been crippled, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, so that a worse thing won't come upon you. There is no peace of mind for the wicked, just tormentful guilt from God. Scriptures about God's salvation for sinners. Jesus said, Those who hear my words, and believe in him who sent me, will have everlasting life, they shall not come into judgment, but will pass from death into life. We were restored to friendship with God by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies. We can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God, all because of what our Lord Jesus Christ has done for us in making us friends of God now. Jesus was executed for our sins, so that we don't have to be. Jesus has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And when I see your faith in the blood, I will pass my judgment over you, says the Lord. The name of Jesus Christ. There is no other name under heaven given among people by which we must be saved. By grace we have been saved through faith, it is not done by ourselves, it is a gift from God, it is not by our works, so that we don't boast. We have been adopted by Daddy God. The Holy Spirit himself, bears witness with our spirit, that we are the children of God. The Lord is long-suffering and abundant in mercy, forgiving of sin, but he by no means clears the guilty. I will forgive their sin, and remember it no more, says the Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. God is faithful to forgive our sins, and to cleanse us from them all. Don't be angry at others. Forgive them like God has forgiven you. The God of love and peace will be with you. I will let my people enjoy abundant peace and safety, says the Lord. Having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you, Lord. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, 
will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Scriptures about heaven. For this world is not our home, we are looking forward to our city in heaven, which is yet to come. At your right hand God, are pleasures forevermore. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared. I heard a loud shout from the throne, saying, Look, the home of God is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will remove all of their sorrows, and there will be no more death, or sorrow, or crying, or pain, any more. For the old world, and its evils, will be gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new now. Jesus said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. God gave his faithful children great careers of being kings and priests in his heavenly kingdom forever. God will give his children everlasting joy forever.